Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Keith Winslet Vlog. So we're here today to do another vlog, but it's more on um, your everyday use application. So I will discuss and show it to you um, how to do your bills or your payments. So papakita ko mamaya ano yung mga certain apps that I usually use. Uh, for my for my convenience kasi nowadays ang hirap na talagang pumunta sa mga you know pinaka payment office ng mga bills mo whether it's the it's your cable electric bill water bill and other uh, utilities like your your even your your phone bill so i will show it to you kasi who knows it might help you and makita mo tong video nito and you will say ah may mga ganun pala on how to do payments so I'll show it to you but I will be specific in one app uh, it's a very convenient and uh, accessible sa in any kind of store so let's start I'll show it to you and as we go along before I proceed with this vlog uh, I want you to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel and if you want to be notified and every time I upload a, a new video, you can also hit the bell notification. Okay? So here we go guys. Uh, nandito na ako sa uh, screen ng phone ko. So I will show it to you. Ano yung mga common apps na I usually do when it comes to paying my bills? Ano yung mga application? Um... Uh, and very advantage to kasi uh, convenient siya uh, may mga application na ililink mo lang or let's say i-enter mo lang yung debit card credit card information mo sa specific apps and then you can do online payment and on top of that may mga application naman na um, once you go to the app uh, i-enter mo yung information mo para sa payment ng bill mo Ang mangyayari is, i-raroute ka pa rin na to go to the specific kiosk at doon mo i-ano yung payment. Pero not necessarily doon sa mismong um, office center ng specific bill mo. Kaya nowadays, uh, marami ng ways how to do the payment. So, papakita ko, here are some of my application. So, it's a mix of... Um, banking app, mga ala Gcash, or mga like Paymaya, as you can see it here. As I also have a, a Click app. Ito, very convenient. Most of the time, sa 7-Eleven mo, babayarin yung mga utilities mo. Tapos, meron din Meralco app. Tapos, um, your mobile provider. Yan. Tapos, pati rin sa mga uh, Bayad Center app. So, ito yung usually na ginagamit ko. Tapos, you can also see the Lazada just in case I will do online uh, shopping. Pag may mga things na bibili ka for, mga, for discounts. So, dito you can see, oh, by the way, and one is the Cebu Pacific. Just in case you want to book an online uh, sa kanilang website. So, dito, pero magiging more on focus ako sa mga basic applications na for everyday use. So, dito, let's start first with the Bayad Center app. Technically, kak-start ko pa lang talaga dito. And, ito, yung sample ng uh, Bayad Center app. So, kung titignan mo yung menu, makikita mo yung mga bagay-bagay na pwede mong ipang babayad. Let's say, pay your bills. So, marami siyang mga affiliated uh, merchant o mga billers. So, katulad nito, halos 1,000 plus billers. So, madali lang naman siya. So, nakikita mo rito yung mga common uh, agencies, uh, companies that you can do your payment. So, alam naman natin yung mga common dito is like yung Meralco rin. Uh, sa SSS contribution mo, sa PhilHealth, or even sa pag-ibig. 
Tapos, aside from that, meron din siyang mga other uh, affiliated companies like Mahinilad, Manila Waters. So, yun yung mga bagay-bagay or even cable. Ito yung sinabi ko, cable internet. Kung nandito yung mga cable company na sinab- in, ano mo, uh, sinubscribe mo, so you can do payment here. Tapos, uh, telecommunication, smart, globe, you name it. Nandiyan almost halos lahat nandito even sa education imagine that you can also pay your bill or your tuition fees through the Bayad Center pero ang importante uh, in order to, to do the payment kailangan mong meron kang official receipt whether let's say nakareceive ka ng sa Meralco so you have the option to do your payments here and in every application, may mga kanya-kanya siyang special features. So, papakita ko sa inyo. Uh, itong Bayad Center, hindi ko masyado pang na-explore to. Pero, if you'll check all the affiliated uh, billers, marami na siya. So, talagang napaka-convenient na nowadays. So, ito yon One of the sample uh, application. And then, let's go to, let's say, Meralco. So, ito naman, specifically for Meralco bill. Uh, and maganda pa dito sa bill, uh, sa anong to, sa, sa app na to, is, let's say, may mga outages ka na encounter. So, makita nyo mga activities dito. You can send in an outage report. So, dati ginawa ko yan. For example, uh, nagkaroon ako ng issue about sa street lights namin or yung pinaka-Korean. So, it will guide you. You can even uh, indicate what are you reporting. So, ayan. Kunyari, no power dun sa buong area nyo. Then, you found out pala mayroong uh, wire na nakadetach. Tapos, let's say, unstable yung power. Kaya, papatay-patay. Tapos, the good thing about this, you can even send a photo, papakita mo, ano yung cost. So, very convenient siya. Pero, mas magpo-focus ako sa mamaya sa may click, sa click up. Pero, before I go, da, uh, go there, ito naman, let's say, smart bill. If you want to pay your smart bill uh, subscription. So, pwede mo rin i, ano siya, i-tawag dito, um, do the payment. But, like what I mentioned, may mga certain application uh, you can go directly pay there or uh, may mga application naman na kailangan mo muna load ng amount before ka mag do your bill payments or you can do also a uh, fund transfer so katulad ng, ng BDO affiliated siya kay Paymaya pwede ka mag transfer from your BDO going to your Paymaya same goes with other uh, application like PS Bank. You can also pay your phone bill, Meralco bill. Same goes with your, let's say, Union Bank app. So, may mga kanya-kanyang pros and cons and advantages yung mga applications nila. But, I will focus more on dito sa Click app. So, itong Click app na to, so, sineta po na siya. Uh, just a while ago, I just paid my water bill Kasi ang village namin, it's totally different uh, We're not affiliated with Manila or Manila Waters So just to give you an idea, I just paid kanina lang sa 7-Eleven Pero minsan may mga disadvantages Lalo na pag sinabi ng kiosk uh, Offline So wala kang choice but to go to the actual company to pay your bills. But, very rare naman na mangyari yun. So, ito, just to give you an idea, let's say, I want to do my payments. Ito. Ito, very common to, kasi marami talagang mga nagbabayad ng cable, or they want to pay their Cebu Pacific, or Air Asia uh, booking for their credit card, uh, electric bill, uh, even for their uh, mobile provider, internet, and even, uh, imagine, uh, tuition and water. So, kanina, I paid my water bill. So, very basic lang. 
so let's say you want to pay your bill so once you download the click app touch it and then you will see what kind of bill that you have like in our case ang bill namin is from uh, fill invest so ang ginawa ko lang is alphabetical naman siya so, try dito kasi enter mo lang kung ano yung account number and let's say whatever your account number is for example so, kunyari anong account name mo uh, Sample. Then let's say the amount you will pay is 530 pesos. So once you do that, you confirm it. Although nag error kasi nga yung account number is hindi talaga account number. So automatic, what will happen is once you go there and you confirm it, initially magigim pending siya. Kasi hindi mo pa nga siya bayad. Parang ganito siya in chula niya. So let me show it to you. So, yung binayad ko siya, so naka-pending pa yung bill. So, ito yung status pending. Pero the moment you paid it, ang lalabas siya, nabayaran mo na siya sa kiosk, ang mangyayari is, itong lalabas. If you go to your transaction history. So, lalabas siya as confirmed. Or in short, paid na siya. Right? So, madali lang, di ba? So, yun yung mga sample application that it will really help you a lot, very convenient, hindi ka mapapagod, um, at very accessible na siya. Pero like what I said, itong mga application na to, marami silang mga, uh, mga features that you can do your payments uh, to fund transfer, you name it. So, marami mga apps pa dyan. Not, not only this, but these are the common application that I usually do. So, kaya napaka-helpful nowadays. Imagine mo, noon, walang mga ganito. Pag nakita mo na yung bill mo, te, diretso ka na talaga sa mga uh, payment center, let's say, ng Meralco, ng, kaya sa phone bill mo, sa PLDT, sa water bill mo, sa Maynila then imagine, grabe napakahaba ng mga pila doon although nowadays din pag pumunta sa mga payment center uh, ang ahaba rin ng pila, pero the good thing nga is maraming option, plus on top of that, 24-7 siya, so ibig sabihin uh, not necessarily na sa bayad center o sa, sa pinaka payment center ng utilities mo so, kahit madaling araw, you can go to 7-Eleven and to do your payments. So, ganun siya ka-convenient. Or, you can go online. But, just to remind you, minsan may mga online, uh, kasi yung mga company like Meralco, may mga third party na nag-maintain ng application nila. So, may mga service fee. May mga, or, yung tinatawag nila most of the time, convenience fee. Which is, syempre, hindi ka nang aalis ng bahay mo you will just go to the application and then uh, if you want to do a payment you just need to enter let's say your debit card or credit card number or account number to do the the online transaction so ganun siya uh, ka helpful plus nowadays ang maganda pa sa mga application ngayon is uh, binibigyan ka ng mga option were in uh, to secure kasi di ba nga for example, meron kang savings account or may credit card ka. Pwede kang mag-create ng virtual debit card or yeah, a virtual debit card or in uh, every time you do a transaction, lalo na sa online kasi mahirap na. Uh, uso ng mga hacking ngayon. So, ang maganda doon is pag nag-online ka, meron kang virtual debit card. So, kung ano lang naman yun, yun lang yun. Ay, kaya, nilagyan mo ng one 200 pesos na amount. Tapos nag-online transaction ka uh, for amounting 150 pesos. So, meron man mag-attempt na mag-hack, uh, yun lang, makukuha nila. But nowadays, matindi na yung mga security measures ng mga applications at mga virtual online transaction. So, there you have it. So, I hope, you I hope you've learned a little 
uh, in this video and nowadays talaga kailangan maki sabay ka na sa technology ngayon eh. and it's just a matter of learning it and you know to to know about how it works when it comes to online transaction especially for your bills kasi ang hirap na maging tradition pupunta ka pa sa sa center makakapagod yon but this time around it's very helpful na siya at talagang we are gearing towards to uh, advanced technology when it comes to payment and when it comes to our daily expenses at paano natin sila binabayaran. Okay? So, this ends my video and I hope you've learned something about it and um, so thank you also by the way for uh, continually supporting this channel um, and also by the way Thank you sa mga subscribers ko pala and, and also for the viewers. And again, um, maraming salamat at sa uulitin at sinabi ko nga as I end this video, do not forget, eat, vlog, sleep, and repeat. Have a great day.